Welcome Soaring Hammer members. This is uh, video number two. This is also for the full fit members if you all like to watch this. Uh, what we're doing here is we are, we being me, <laughs> me, and uh, Brutus and Spirit. I'm at Brutus's house right now. He's not here. No, he knows I'm here though. But anyway, so <laughs> what we're doing, um, I'm getting a head start. Bruce is working tonight, and it's a shame he really wants to be here to start this off. But we're going to get a few projects started here. Uh, you can see we are putting the first thin coat onto the uh, recon helmet. Very sloppily. Is that a word? Sloppily? Today. Is that like Monopoly? Sloppily, monopoly. So anywho, um, good jokes are gone. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> so you missed them all. The the uh, adult jokes are gone. But uh, I'm just I'm just putting a nice couple thick coats on here. Uh, this is really a pain in the butt. And uh, this spot right up here, I'm trying to prevent uh, air bubbles, especially up in here. You can see it's running like a running like a kid's runny nose. Always gotta get a door. Yeah, there's always a door in my videos. Even when I'm not home. <laughs> there's still a door. And uh about to be some other people inside the footage here. But anywho, I just want y'all to see what we're about to do, doing the recon here, getting a head start for when uh, Brutus gets here by the base coat done. Um, honey, you want to show them the keys we made? We got keys made for it already. Oh, yeah, they're really cute. Yeah, they're really cute keys. Hi, kids. How you doing? I'm good. I'm uh, uh, my name is... Yeah, 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 keep, keep working. <laughs> my name is Dave, my wife, Brittany. Hello. How are you? What was your name again? You <laughs> so, yeah, you're on our film. Welcome to Soren Hammer. Incorporated Productions. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause here. Okay, she's going to pause here. Well, you all seen the uh, snot man right here. He's starting to dry up the first coat. So once that first coat is done, I will start working on the second coat. I'm just checking stuff out here, making sure this coat captured a lot of the detail. Uh, looking for the air bubbles. We're actually looking pretty good. Um, of course, I always look good. So, that's that. She already showed you. We got our little scraps here. These scraps, I'm going to teach you all something here. You all seen it before. Devin showed you all these scraps. What I'll do is probably my, about my third coat. I will take these scraps and I will tuck them up in here. And that way I can seal this off and make it flush because it becomes a pain in the butt otherwise to build your shell around it and stuff but anywho there we go uh, I do want to show you all something else uh, we're going to come over here uh, this is the boot the front piece it's not by far the best thing since sliced bread or anything like that but uh, I'm pretty proud of her. Uh, what we did is we made the uh, clayed up the first one, and after we clayed up the first one, we then, uh, of course, added all the detail to it and stuff. And then once we add the detail to it, we did a really, really hasty, me and Chris, really hasty uh, mold for it. Just to get one out of it, and now that we got that one out of it, we managed to start cleaning her up, sanding her, a little bit of putty here and there. Uh, I don't really like seeing her on the light with the gloss paint, because it looks like crap. But it's a master, so it's thick as can be anyway. But uh, we're about to remold this tonight. I will close this back piece off 
and then uh, mold it. I'll put clay on the bottom so it's pretty much sitting on clay so that way my mold will come down past my edge of where I want it to be. Always remember to go past your edge. You can see we're sitting with Adam's mold. Adam's marine shoulder mold. So we, yeah, you all seen that before. Um, so yeah, we'll get back to that. Yeah, he's back. He's actually been back for a couple hours. He's amongst the living. But yeah, we got to sit for a couple hours. And we managed to get to the next stage. What did you call it? The, the, the melting man? The incredible melting man. The incredible melting man. God, that looks sloppy. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it's going to work. It'll be all right. Now, these keys are freaking hot, though. They're designer. You're going to want the mold just for the keys because they're designer keys. But uh, that's what we do. That's, that's what we do at uh, Sword and Hammer. We do good as designer keys. But once it's done, uh, tomorrow morning when we get up, we decide to wake up, uh, we're going to come through and I'm going to trim all those little hangies off, trim around the keys, make them cleaner, and cut all along the bottom. Just pretty much clean this entire piece up before we start doing the uh, fiberglass and resin shell. That's right, fiberglass and resin. we got a key there in the front. One, you got one, two, three, four, five keys, mohawk stylish. And then ear ones, one over here, and one over here, which is bigger. But, I don't know, I think this looks pretty good. Oh, and, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you see that red mark? That's what happens when you play the heat guns. And we're slowly doing the, about to mold the boot, DOS boot. But my glue gun wants to be ultra hot and burn everybody's face off. And remember, brought to you by Red Bull. Gives you wings and panty liners. All right, so smooth on. Thank you. And uh, we'll give you an update in a little while. And you can see Brutus here toying around. <laughs> you trying out the, What are you trying out there, Brutus? Trying the Alumilite Water Clear Casting Resin. Going to mm -hmm. make a hand plate and uh, one of the M6 magazines so far it is crystal clear like water so it's gonna be difficult to tell when it cures so we're just gonna have to let it sit for the entire cure time <laughs> no fogging over um you can look out here we have the the booth set up for the uh, recon helmet she's ready to go so we're gonna start putting some uh, fiberglass and resin on her uh, and you can also see the uh, we primed it now. The boot, Dosh boot. This is, the, this is the toe cap for it only. But it looks better now that it's touched up a little bit more and not shiny black. But uh, yeah, that's it. And that's that so far. We're not, like, well, we have our new build. Yes, our new build. Uh, it's freaking awesome. Went to Home Depot, got some wood, new mounting brackets, and we'd have to show you this when we are done, but we might have to kill you. So, But uh, anyway, we'll show you some more once we're done. Get the CQB out here mounted up on this thing too. Alright. Alright, real fast, I want to show you all the technique we're doing to create our initial wall of the uh, for the for the uh, shell. We just take a standard uh, 110 card stock, fold in half, wrap it in tin foil to create these. Once we create these, we use an X-Acto knife, and we notice we place our keys all along the middle. Okay, we cut directly in the middle of our keys, not into the rubber that is going to be the mold, but into the keys. So then you can split it and put these in, and it holds them in place. Then you bend them, shape them, and then you can build your fiberglass around and down onto it. You don't have to worry about these little gaps here because it's fiberglass matting or correction uh, cloth. So we're going to put this last one in place right here, bend it over, and we're ready to start the fiberglassing. And we'll see you on uh, Das Brutus part to us.